Hi everyone, it's Sandra here. It's August 6th. This is the styrofoam tote that I used to empty the first garden worm tower that we started. I, we emptied it about four weeks ago and we just dumped its entire contents in here. We picked out worms as we saw them in the tower and we returned them to the new bedding in the tower. And I've just been uh, treating this tote like a regular worm farm. And I'll just show you what the castings look like as I dig down a little bit. I've obviously pulled out some comfrey leaves that I had tucked under the surface that aren't completely broken down. And so I just put them in there because I've started to pull out adult worms. But let me just show you what the castings look like. All right, I'm in a slightly better seating position now. So this is what you get from a garden worm tower that was just give, giving, given garden scraps. That looks like the stalk of something that we harvested out of our garden. And the worms have taken care of everything except the stalk. I did bury more food in here to keep these worms going. But, you know, for the most part, I'm just looking for these castings to be finished enough that we can throw them somewhere into our garden or one of our ornamental beds and return as many of the worms as I can just pick out here as I go through, return these worms to their tower because that's where they belong. So here's some watermelon that I fed them. Probably shouldn't have dug that up without looking for worms that might be clustered around the watermelon. I don't see a lot. Like I said, we pulled the worms from here as we harvested the tower. So what I'm looking for now is I'm just looking for worms that maybe hatched out of cocoons. And you know, when you find worms that are this big, chances are that's a newbie. Chances are in the last month that's just hatched out of a cocoon and uh, in the tower. So instead of putting him in the garden, he will be returned to the tower. And there's another little wisp that was just loose in this material. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just going to continue to do that and bring you back when I've got some worms out of here and I'll show you what I got. All right, so I have fluffed the castings, the vermicast, and I've pulled out anything that I don't want under our shrub border where we're going to put this. You know, but wood chips are fine because there are arbors wood chips around all my shrub border. I've been putting worms into this tub. They, of course, are being going down. And I've been putting some of the comfrey leaves that I found that hadn't been totally eaten, as well as some larger sticks. But I'm down to this last corner, and I thought we would just see how compacted. Coming out of the garden tower, these this vermicast was very damp, and so... The castings are, of course, they've been in here a month, so they've just been getting progressively more and more processed, which makes them harder and harder to get rid of their moisture. And even though they've been outside in a lightly covered bin, they have retained and their moisture level quite high. And so I've been going through and just loosening them up and, of course, finding worms. And so I just loosen them up and see they do loosen, but you know, they're not siftable. And so if you do garden towers and you harvest them like we did, we'd basically land and just pulled it out of the ground and emptied it into this tote system. We pulled out as many worms as we could grab when we harvested them. And oh, see, there's a rock from the manure. I just throw that towards the fence, rocks along the fence, that's fine. But, um, you know, if you do this sort of harvest, expect the harvest to be damp because our tower systems had lids that had holes in them. So they were open to our sprinkling system, any rain that we got. And so when we harvested the castings, the vermicast was very damp. Vermicompost, very damp. And so, oops, I'm leaning on this and I've just broken, broken the styrofoam. Oops. Okay. Okay, let's turn this corner over, see the worms that I can grab. So as I've been fluffing, I've just been grabbing worms. You know, obviously I'm not able to grab all the little guys, 
uh, they are going to be going for a ride out to my shrub border, and that is just fine with me. Okay, so here we are. And as I was saying, I've got some choices of what I can do with the worms and a few cocoons that I collected out of this tote from my garden tower system. I'm sitting right next to my two um, garden towers with teeny, weeny, itsy bitsy, wiggly, iggly, fuzzy and wuzzy. So they could go in there. Always good to give my tower systems um, some added population, which if you notice, there's a lump in the middle of my can of worms is because I've added uh, a container full of worms that I've collected and put it on the top. So I often do that. I often, when I harvest, I, you know, obviously pull out, you know, unprocessed material and some castings as well as worms. And so they can easily go into one of my garden tower systems or my, my uh, tumbleweed tower systems over there, or I can start a new garden tower system over again, empty it and start anew. Uh, or I could even put them into my indoor systems. Uh, we're getting ready to restart Gilligan, if you can believe it, as soon as our visit with our granddaughter is over, which should be this week sometime. All right, everyone. So that's harvesting a garden tower system. Um, if, you, if they get watered or sprinkled on, expect the castings to be moist. But with a little bit of time and some fluffing, you'll get some beautiful material out of it. And don't stress if you're just gonna, like we are, if you're just gonna add it back to your garden under shrubs and whatnot, don't stress about sifting or anything like that. This material is well inoculated being in the garden tower system. It's not gonna deplete our shrubs at all if it's not 100% processed because they have arborist wood chips on the bottom of them anyway. All right, that's our first garden worm tower harvest. I couldn't be more delighted to um, to get to this stage. And we've got four more or three more garden towers that will be harvested in quick succession now. All right, bye everyone.